Hi guys, we're back at Smash Fishing. It's currently 11 o'clock at night and me and the lads are going out hunting for lobsters. We've got a good foraging tide so we can't miss it. We've got Inglorious Fishing and Sam. Hell yeah. Hopefully we can get some, eh boys? Yeah, I'm going to be a bit tired in the morning but hopefully we get some time. Hey ho mate, it's all about the fun That's of it. That's it baby. Stay tuned, it's Smash Fishing. Woo! Wibbly wobbly lobster. Oh, I've got the Big old mushroom there. Wouldn't want to eat that one. <laughs> Something about night time, eh? Gotta love it. That's yeah, when all the critters come out. They don't have to hide from predators at night. Apart from us, lunatics coming out. <laughs> we've had a lot of storms lately. So we've got a lot of weed on the beach. We're hoping that the lobster holes ain't got weed in them. Tiny little crab there. It's the first find of the night. That's a lovely size cockle that, perfect eating size. As you can see, you've got a lot of shells around on the beach and that's what you're looking for to find them. A few more like that will go down nicely. This is a perfect example of what we find cockles like on the beach. As you can see, it's like slip based up. They're always like that as well. That's when you know they're alive. But if they're laying down flat like this open, then most of the time they're gonna be dead. Another lovely sized cockle there. Finding some nice ones. Really fat. You only need a few of those to feed you. And a big old lobster. We're now arriving in our supermarket. They're gonna be looking for lobsters, lady crabs, anything that tastes good really. Go on Sam, big guns, big guns. Can't see any lobsters coming out. Nah, there's nothing, mate. Some big old shrimps around here. Oh, they're a bit quick for me, though. Lovely sized lady crab there. Or velvet swimming crab. And it's got the female still attached to it. That's a pier the crab. And a big hard male. Awesome to see that. They're breeding for the future. So I'll leave this peeler crab be. <laughs> the amount of prawns that are in this. Absolutely loads of them. Cool looking wrasse there. It's blue, eh? Yeah, it's beautiful neon blue. Yeah, wicked colours on that. Sorry about that. Nice. It looks like the tide's coming up a bit, guys. I've just been to my to my shoulder in water trying to get a lobster. Wellies are completely full. But we're having fun. <laughs> Still wading through the rock pools. Got the old wellies full of water. I apologize for the wind noise. Oh, check this one out. That's what you call a crab, right there. Ah. Look at the size of that. Ah, what a beast! Oh my god. Ah, that's, that's a huge crab right there. Ah, beauty, mate, and he's solid as well. There's a, there's a lovely little rust down here, nice blue one. Found another one down. <laughs> I hope this one's a big one as well. Look at that guys, got a massive one. Look, I don't know if you can see there, just like the other one, it was just buried right under the rock. Ah, oh, it's another beauty, mate. Another one. Look at that. Ah, they must have been living together. <laughs> Look at that for a crab. That's bigger than the Beautiful last one. Grab that. Absolute monster. The tide's now rushing in, guys. Got my two crabs, and look, I am knee deep in water. <laughs> I'm coming, lads. <laughs> this is how fast you can get cut off doing this. That's why this is extremely dangerous. I got my phones in my pocket and everything. <laughs> oh my days. All of this was dry before. 
This is a first on the channel, guys. We were hoping to find some of these. That's brown crab or shanker. And these are really big ones as well. Great eating. I don't know how I'm gonna cook these yet, but I'll think about it tomorrow. It's one hell of a meal, though. That's a beautiful bug. That's beauties, eh? Beauty. Oh, oh, look at the mate. boot. <laughs> <laughs> He's leaking. I'm leaking a little bit. So stay tuned, guys. We're gonna go get some cockles and stuff with uh, Dano's rake. And then we're back home in the morning, baby. Hell yeah. Still can't get over the size of these bad boys. Those are real size crabs, those. You don't want to get pinched by one of these. That's old, a big old shanker claw there. That's off one of them. And look at the size of that. That's a proper claw right there. Still trudging around the beach trying to find some cockles. We'll be giving it a break soon. We've got a good amount in here now. Of uh, pretty good sized cockles as well. It's been an absolutely cracking night. Be nice to find a few more. This here is an old whelk shell. I haven't found one of these in a little while. It's a bit of a better view for you. There's a whelk shell. Nothing in it. You usually get some hermit crabs that live inside these. But nothing today. Be nice to try one one time. Lots of these little crabs coming up. And they're just walking around. And they bury themselves really quickly. <laughs> that was another one there, but yeah, feisty little one. <laughs> Sam, there he's breaking up a ton. A couple of smaller ones there. Yeah. But let those ones go. There's some nice ones there. He's just working his way around the side here, digging them up, just like that, just with his with his little hook. He's just popping them out. There's a few here, eh? You're right. Nice. I don't know if you can see it in the camera. There's two little shiny bits that come out the sand. And that is the cockles. Sam's just pointed it out. That's a great tip you found there, Sam. And everywhere you see, just there. Little shiny bit. And boom, little cockle. <laughs> There's loads of cockles here. Look at that. We only want the big ones today. The shankers are trying to get out. There's a little sand goby. That there is a little sand goby. That's the end of this forage guys, two shankers, thanks for Inglorious for coming along. Yeah, it's enjoyable. It was fun eh? Yeah, really. I'll do more when I get home. <laughs> <laughs> it's typical eh? Hi right, guys, we're back in the kitchen. Got the two crabs here, they were in the, they've been on ice for the last couple of hours. So they're nice and asleep basically, and all I'm doing is filling my pot full of boiling water. I'm on my lunch break at the moment, so I don't have a lot of time after work. And what I'm doing is waiting for that to get to a rolling boil. And I'm adding some vinegar. Put a load of that in there. What this does is separates the meat from the shell. 
what I've just done is I've got my knife and just put it in the uh, in the brain of the crab just to make sure they're dead. I always like to be as safe as I can. What I'm doing is just waiting for one more kettle of boiling water and we get our crabs in. Such a pleasure to be able to find these, especially foraging. You don't often find brown crab like this. You know, you get like this sort of size on a very rare occasion, but big ones like these, that's not often you get them. That's gonna be a great feed for me and Sam later on. As you can see, we've got a roll and boil now. And crabs these size, I like to give them a really good 15 minutes, 16 minutes each. So you can see they're both stone cold dead and you just gotta plonk them straight in. That's a great eating size, that one. That's it, get it right in there. Beautiful. Now I'm gonna give these a good 15 minutes, like I say, get the lid on and let them cook through. Woo! Crabs are cooking up nicely now. So you can see, you get all the scum come to the surface. As you cook them, you can take it out, but it's not gonna hurt you. This smells absolutely delicious. I love the smell of fresh crab. I'm gonna take the crabs out now. They've had a good 15 minutes on a rolling boil. And the good thing to note is when you've taken these out and leave them on a the tray like I'm doing, they will continue to cook for a little bit. And these look amazing. It's a bit, bit tricky to do one-handed. Steamed up the camera for a second. And all I'm doing is just kind of take them out like so and put them into a dish. I need a bit of a bigger dish. <laughs> well worth it. So nice when you go out late at night with your friends to go find some lobsters and you end up with two massive brown crab. <laughs> that is awesome. Check those out. So I'll see you later on guys when I finish work and we'll start cooking up the cockles and start munching these bad boys. How we're gonna cook these cockles, guys. These have been purging in water overnight, so they should have a lot less grit in them. We've actually got time to do it this time, eh, mate? <laughs> yeah. So what we're gonna do is put butter in. We've got oil in the pan already, and we're just creating a little sauce. So we've got, turn that down a little bit. A bit of garlic, a bit of ginger, Sea salt, black pepper. I'm just going to let that cook through a little bit, just to let the flavours go together a bit. A lot of subscribers were saying to do that, so I'm going to give it a go this time. And what I'm going to do is add some lemon juice. If you can get fresh, it's even better. And What's this? A Chardonnay. Mm. Not very good with wines, but fancy. It, it usually tastes good. Not that I'm a drinker. And what we're essentially doing is going to steam all the clams or cockles inside of this. So we let that come to the simmer again. We're going to get our cockles in. Woo! We've got our sauce on the simmer now. There's all of our clams, all washed off, no grit, hopefully. <laughs> and they go straight in there. So these will all be steaming inside of this as they cook through and get a good old plate to trap all the heat in and the steam. We'll give that about 10 minutes until the shells are open. Then we're eating good, baby. Woo! That's the cockles pretty much cooked now. Just gonna give them a couple more seconds and get them dished up. It's 
Smells good, eh? Smells delicious. You can really smell that wine as well, though. Yeah, maybe I'll put a little bit too much in. Nah. We'll soon find out. There you go, mate. <laughs> well, thank you. This is a rare foraging. It is. It's the first one channel we've got. Nice. Size of those claws. I'm just digging straight in. Lovely white flesh on Shankers. Mmm. I haven't had shanker in ages. There's a little knuckle there on the claw. If you break that, it just falls out. Look at that meat. Oh, and that's why we made extra sauce to dip it in. Purging these cockles overnight did really good because there was no sound of them mm. at all. Sorry, mate. <laughs> Gotta get messy. Look at that for a crab drumstick. It's a beast. That's a beast. Big claws, eh? Look at the meat on that. Oh, it was such a fun trip, though. Are eh? you feeling it today? Yeah. Well, tired, boys, but very. <laughs> that was well fun. Those fish were weird, eh? Which ones? Mm. Oh, those mullet-looking things. Mm. Mm. There are hundreds of them, eh? I think I'm bothered. Yeah. And Sam found a new cool way to find the uh, cockles. And they just a little golden eyes, eh? It's very strange, but it works. Yeah. Soon as you find, soon as you shine your head torch, you can spot them straight away. Mm. What do you think then? I think it's good. Yeah, that's shank in a while, eh? Yeah, it's been a long time. Oh. Those are delicious. Oh, those cockles are good, eh? Been defeated. Who did Ren? Ben. Ah. <laughs> there you go. Oh, this is awesome. If you ever get the chance to do this, guys, highly recommend it. We left these in the. I left these in ice for a couple of hours, and then, like I said before, stabbed them in the face. And that kills them outright, so there's no freshening in the water. That's the last thing we want. Got that lovely white flesh inside. Mmm. It's really nice. Mm. Really tasty. It's just full of meat, eh? Yeah. Mmm. So I won't leave you any longer, guys. It's going to take us a while. To eat all this, you'll do it. But we will do it. <laughs> this was awesome though, eh? we never, yeah. we've never found this, this sort of stamp of crab before. And to have two in a short period of time like that, I was up to my knees, just above my knees in water, eh? <laughs> Bad. I like two o'clock in the morning. I think we got well, just well rewarded for yeah. it though, eh? At the end of the day. Definitely. If you like my channel guys, like and subscribe. There's gonna be plenty more like this to come. If you want to check out Sam's Instagram, I'll leave the link in the description. It's Smash Fishing. <laughs>